didn't get one, didn't think that was a big deal, whatever, you know, you saw one, you want one, let me know sometime after the meeting, and I'll put you on the order that's bringing in three or four more. They are $35 each. And we now need our weather. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Winners from yesterday. Winners from yesterday. I can wait for all It's okay. Um, Um, third place. That's what this says. That's what this says. <laughs> it does? Yeah. Well, that's overall. So oh, excuse me. I'm not wrong. I'm not, that's why I was confusing myself. Third place was Doug Jacobs. Sorry. John, 
ask me to give you more detail. So, if I draw, draw a 20 mile circle around the airport, that's not centered on the airport, this is where you could find maybe your better look today. Okay? So that's why we're tapping over here. Where's Cincinnati at? KCBG, Cincinnati, right. on my map. Here? There. You got it. That's not good. This whole area looks not good at all. But for some reason, it looked better down here, but we couldn't get to here. This here, around this area, you're going to see, and it should be blue when we launch. I'm saying that so it'll prove me wrong. But it's going to be weak up in this quadrant. Again, this quadrant is weak. This is a stronger quadrant, and this is a stronger quadrant for everybody. Winds will be light, and as the day increases, they'll be increasing the velocity about uh, five knots, maybe up to ten knots. By 4 p.m., again, this is key in here, will be your stronger areas. It's going to start going weaker out here, weaker out here. And it falls off here, less than 2,000 MSL. But we aren't out here, that's why. <coughs> and uh, there's, when I've asked Linda, she's going to be calling <coughs> Hey You Up at the National Weather Center in Wilmington. <coughs> so everybody keep an eye on it. But we have a, a line moving at us. And what it's going to do is that's the area that came, came through with Dina last night, Wisconsin and destroy the town with a humongous tornado. And and that line is moving at us, and it, it might have winds associated with it, etc. and it's moving quick. It's moved, it's, it's moving, what did we say, Hank, how many miles? It looked like it moved the entire state of the northern border of Indiana in about two and a half hours. It came, that whole line came across. Wow. But it looks dry. Part of the problem we're having with the weather was uh, some of the some of the information is down right now, and I couldn't pull all all the information up we needed. Max temperature, if we see 88 degrees, we'll have about 5,000 MSL. The variable height on that is about 1,600, meaning you could go at least 800 feet below it, maybe see 800 feet above it, depending on the height of the day, because we pulled highs from several sources, and again, that's what we're saying. We're saying maybe in a high of 85. Maybe a high of 90, 91. Any questions? Okay. Okay. <coughs> Three to four knots. Three to four knots. Three to four knots. Someone. Yeah, very bad. Okay, uh, grid time, 11.30. We will be gridded and plan to launch at 12 if this thing passes through and is dry. Like it looks like some areas it's dried out, some areas it's building. We don't, we don't know. But we'll try to launch. Our aim is to launch at 12 o'clock. So if you hear planes taking off, I noticed yesterday a lot of people are still walking back and walking back. We launch it out there at 12, ready to go and not going back and forth while we've got tow planes. Sometimes they can downwind, downwind launch uh, approaches to the field. Sometimes they're coming over the fence low. So we want you not walking back and forth. We want you out there by your plane ready to go at 12. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs>